The fifth weather fairy is the mist fairy. Mist? I would have gone with the fog fairy myself. Choosing mist just makes it sound like they couldn't think of a seventh type of weather for the series, so they looked up weather on Google and picked the first one they found. Argo Funk Book Review, Argo Funk Book Review. After six pages of recap, we learn Mom is doing a run in the woods today. This ends up being a terrible idea because the woods are full of mist. No one can see the path, the runners run into trees and each other. It sounds like they missed out on having fun. <laughs> Evie shows up and the girls turn into fairies. The idea is that they'll get around easier if they're fairy-sized. That doesn't make sense. It's not easier to see if you're smaller than the mist. The goblin with the mist feather is sitting on the ground crying because he's cold and lost. He hates the mist. He hates it! Am I the only one who thinks it's weird that about half the goblins hate the weather that they're creating? Why steal a magic feather if you hate what the feather does? That's silly. The goblin mistakes a runner for a pogwurzel. That's an imaginary monster which eats goblins. Goblin mothers use pogwurzels to scare their children into behaving. The girls use this information to scare the goblin. They pretend a pogwurzel is chasing them. They promise to save him and get rid of the mist if he gives them the mist feather. The goblin is skeptical until Evie uses her magic to make a scary voice come out of the bushes. Huh, I didn't expect the mist fairy to have a ventriloquism spell. The goblin hands over the feather and runs away. The girls see Mom racing, and Doodle gets the feather back. The end. Post-book follow-up. Like Mist, this book was rather uninteresting. Half of it takes place in a small spot in the woods where the goblin is sitting down and whining about his life. Because the scenery and characters don't change, the pictures are a tad repetitive. There's only so many times you can draw a scared goblin in the same spot without it looking like you're just copy-pasting pictures. I like the plan to scare the goblin into thinking there are monsters in the woods, but I didn't like Evie's ventriloquism trick. There is no indication that she can change her voice or project her voice before she does the trick. It's a poorly done deus ex machina, which is a shame because the original plan to scare the goblin was actually kind of good. You'll notice that the girls have come up with a different plan to foil every goblin so far. I'm sure that if I read enough of these books, I'll figure out the pattern to the goblin tricks. Scare the goblin has shown up multiple times. Distract them with food seems like a winner. And of course, there's don't do anything, really. If we wait long enough, the fairy will save us or the goblin will mess up on its own. I give Rainbow Magic number 12, Evie the Mist Fairy, a thumbs down.